Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly the Monkey with the Wrench. Today's video is on Freedom. That's all my Freedom gear behind me. And today's video for Freedom is Freedom from the Electrical Grid. We're setting up a new solar panel system today and I want to share with you a new solar controller that I just got in. So let me show it to you. Please subscribe. I don't practice bacteria. I ain't got no crystal. Oh, sorry guys. Here we are. Uh, I always look at this and think it's batteria, but I believe it's bateria. This is the product at hand. This is the box that comes in. Very simple. Open her up. Inside you have a couple of key pieces. This is a scan card that includes both Apple and Android, which I actually used because this is Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth, which is awesome comes a little quick start guide you might want to keep this around until you've gotten a little bit more used to uh, using your solar and what it can do and it has a little instructiones guide which you really probably won't need when you watch this video I gave it a quick tickle there we go this is what comes in the box this is a double plug that you can either add an extension plug to bling 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 put an extension on it if you need it to or you can plug it in both sides to protect your ends if you're not using this which I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be using it but you could do that to protect both ends of the plug on the solar controller you get the solar controller itself you get a couple of screws to be able to mount it there's four holes in here so you can screw right through it and mount it to something it also comes with two of these now these are SAE plugs uh, I use mostly MC4 connectors and I had an extra one laying around so I made this connector uh, it goes from SAE plug which is 10 gauge wire and I have it going to the MC4 plugs make sure that you understand how the MC4 plugs work so you don't put the wrong plug on the wrong thing and then you go to plug it in and oops it doesn't work oops I did it again so that's it that's what comes in the box very simple this thing is great it is the size of my hand that's what I always tell the girls too it's the size of my hand that's what it says on the back so you can read up on what it contains what it does what it calls for that's also inside then on the front you have this cool little LED screen which I'll show you in just a second this is your set it and forget it buttons and there you go now this thing is extremely easy to use let me show you what I mean here is my lipo battery this is a hundred amp hour 12 volt battery now on here you have outlet and you have input now the input is from your solar panel to your controller the output goes to the battery whenever you're dealing with solar you always 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 plug the battery in first do not plug the solar panel in first so I made up I took the other one that came in the box and I put uh, just eyes on the end of it so I could attach it to my battery plug it in plug it in plug it in and check that out it's all ready working so this is what shows you I'm on LifePo when it first came on it was on gel in order to change that and I'm on LifePo right now lithium iron phosphate it's shown I have 13.3 volts and the 0, 00 at the bottom is the input and that's because we're not connected to a solar panel if you need to change this you simply press and hold that button and you see it starts a blinking then you quick press it once goes to gel once more goes to AGM so if you have a gel or an AGM battery you're good or back to life po that's how you set it then you press and hold it until it stops blinking and you see that this starts blinking so you can go press it quick and go to 24 volt system or once again back to 12 volt system press and hold it when you're done that's that's how easy it is to switch everything now the top four buttons is how much power is in your battery 25 50 75 100 if I hit this again it shows me the internal temperature of the controller 26 degrees Celsius 78 degrees Fahrenheit if I hit it again 
it tells me E00. If there was an error code, it would tell me E01 all the way through to E10. And in your little guide, it shows you what those error codes are. If you let it go, it goes right back to what it's supposed to. That's it. That's how simple this thing is to use. All I have to do now is download the app, which I've already done, and then plug in the solar panel. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to show you how easy the app is to use. Okay, so make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. When you turn on your Bluetooth and it comes up with the stuff, you don't have to do any of that. Just swipe that out, go straight to the app, hit the Bluetooth button on the top right, and you'll see Charge Pro come up. Connect there, and you'll see all your information comes up. It's showing me that I'm at 13.3 volts, which is exactly what I'm at. I've already double-checked this. It's showing me my current voltage at 13.3 volts. I have no power being used at the moment, so it's not drawing any power out to turn on a fish tank or a light or anything like that. So all this stuff will change. The system is normal. It's showing me that my internals uh, temperature on the solar controller is 78.8 degrees. This thing, according to the website, the temperature resistance on this is negative 40 degrees. Negative 40 degrees. So if you're up north, your battery is going to shut down before your solar controller does. And it's good up to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the internal temperature of the controller itself. So you're good in all your charge ranges. It's telling me that I have a system normal. It's telling me today's running data. I can go back and check out historical data and it will show me this graph right here. And it shows you all that good stuff. And if you want to change your parameter settings, you are locked. You'll have to confirm that you want to unlock it. You can change it. It's showing me I'm on a, a LiPo battery, a 12 volt system, which again, I did all of that right here on the controller itself. 13 volts that's in the battery, nothing coming in. I chose LiPo here. So the beautiful thing is, if you don't have a working cell phone with Bluetooth, you don't need it. Now I have this app for my more expensive Victron solar controller and I really, 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 really wish that it would give me the information right on the solar controller, but it doesn't. I'm forced to use an app. So an app may be something that you'll need for yourself. Honestly, in my opinion, we can do that because we don't need this app. Everything that you need to know, everything that you need to change, changes right here on the LCD and the lights here. Now the only thing we have to do is go ahead and plug this in and I'm going to use a 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panel. Why? Because I have one and because that particular solar panel has an SAE connection on it. This is a 20 amp controller so it should, you'll have to do the math on it, but it should be able to handle three or four hundred uh, watts of solar coming in. I have larger solar panels out there that come in at about 350 watts, but I'm going to use the Harbor Freight one because it already has the SAE uh, plug on it and it's a smaller system. Now again, I've made an MC4 connection to go on to my 350 watt solar panels. And when I did the math, this will absolutely handle up to 400 watts of incoming solar on a 12 volt system. If you wanna to switch to a 24 volt system, which means you have to put the two batteries together, uh, it actually brings in more power and, and uses less amps. So it drops from, I wanna say 16 amps down to five amps. So this can handle up to 20. I would recommend using this on a 24 volt system. But to plug this thing in to a 100 watt solar panel, I know it's gonna charge this LifePo battery at 100 amps in about eight or 10 hours of good sun. And that's good enough for a basic solar setup. All right, so there is the 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panel set up in the sun. Here is the battery along with the solar controller. And I'm gonna plug it in. And our solar controller system is now fully in swing. It is working. That is all you need. You need a solar panel. You need a solar controller. 
and you need a battery. Now, because my battery is full, I don't think it's going to be bringing in too much. See, it's showing me nothing coming in because our battery is completely full. But that's as simple as the whole setup is. If you have a battery, whether it's an AGM, a, a sealed gel battery, or a LifePo battery, you have a solar controller and a solar panel, then you have power. What you choose to use for an inverter is up to you. If you watch my other solar panel videos, you'll know which inverters I choose. I'll leave a video card for that at the end of the video so you can click on that and look at my other solar videos. I have more coming up in the future. Back to you in the studio. So now that you've seen it hooked up to the solar panel and I've shown you on the app that it gives you real-time data as well as on the actual model solar controller itself, real-time data, you know for yourself whether you're going to want to use the app to monitor it or if you're just going to glance at it. Now I can tell you right now, my entire office is set up on a solar system. My entire shop, shed, including my aquariums, set up on a solar system. Even though I have an LCD screen that shows me the shop or, or the office monitoring at any time, the more expensive Victron controller that's in my shed, my shop, that runs 24-7 running lights and aquariums, I don't even bother to monitor it because I know that the system can handle what I use, what I've set it up for, and I know that I'm good. So I only maybe once every few weeks check in on the app and make sure it's good. With this, you don't even have to use the app to check on it and make sure everything's in functioning condition. And I really like that. The differences in the sizes of the solar panel, solar controllers, what they can do is how fast they charge the batteries up. That's the only difference. And this thing is going to kick butt and it's going to charge up a one or two battery, even a four battery system, very quickly off of a small solar panel. So you might want to put it in your RV. You might want to put it in your office. I use little lithium lighting. That's what you see above me. This is all lithium lighting. I run my fish tanks off of it, the whole nine yards, off of a single 100 amp hour battery that gives me 1,200, uh, I think, watt hours and runs everything great. So you choose what you use this thing for, but I can tell you right now, my first thoughts on this are it's wonderful, it's easy to use, it's easy to set up, it's plug and play and I'm not going to have any issues with it. If I do, I'll make another video in a few months and let you know if there were any issues, if anything burned out, if I had any problems with the company trying to sell, send me a new item or not covering what it is. But I'm telling you right now, I really, 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 really like the ease of how this thing's set up right out of the box, plug and play. You can plug it right into the solar panels as you saw. It reads everything quickly and I'm amazed at this thing. And let me tell you a few more specs about it real quick. I can tell you right now that it has overcharge protection. It's an MPPT controller. So it fluctuates with incoming current, outgoing current to give you the best possible efficiency when it comes to charging a battery, to bringing in solar. This, the solar panel could be in complete daylight uh, perfect sun and if the battery is already charged the MPP controller will tone down the amount of voltage and amperage that's coming in from the solar panel it'll even cut it off because it doesn't need it it'll move it to float mode so that's great it's got over temperature protection over voltage protection over current protection short circuit protection over discharge protection and the one that I like the most is reverse polarity protection if you accidentally hook up your connections the wrong way and plug it in, instead of short circuiting and frying the system, it protects itself by closing down and cutting off that voltage. That is a big one. If you've ever used a battery and you put the negative terminal on the positive side and the positive terminal on the negative side and it sparks and it wants to weld things together, you know that crossing those terminals and doing reverse polarity can damage an entire system. So I really look forward to that. Overload protection. This thing covers everything. The temperatures are great range. Um, it, it's just so easy. I can't say enough about it. So if you want to know right now, there are links in the description to their Amazon webs, their Amazon sellers. That's what I'm putting there for you guys to buy it. 
I am not sponsored by Bat Batteria. Uh, I don't make any money off of it. So if you click on there and you go to Amazon and you buy this thing, I don't get a dime. I'm telling you that I really like this solar controller. I'm going to put it to use. I'm going to kick the crap out of it. And right now, the normal price for this solar controller is just $69. $69.99. And I can tell you that my Victron controller cost me $169. Now, I like my Victron, but I'm going to be using the crap out of this thing. And this thing just shows you that you can get good quality stuff and you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching, thanks to Batteria for sending this to me and letting me check it out. Hit the like button, it's somewhere between my chin and my balls, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.